Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue working on my contract management system. We have already built a document library, which contains all of the metadata fields that we need so that we can track information about our contracts. The next step now is to build an automation so that one week before the renewal date, the responsible counsel should get an email prompting him or her to review the contract. That's what we're going to be doing now. To do that, we're going to use a SharePoint 2013 workflow. So I've opened SharePoint Designer 2013 and I've opened this site. There I'm going to go into the workflows and create a new list workflow that will run based on that renewal date, of course. So we're going to start that on the contracts list. Send reminder. That's what we're doing. And it's going to be a SharePoint 2013 workflow. First thing we want to do is create a local variable that contains the reminder date. And that's going to be a date time type of local variable. And then we're going to do a um, time calculation. And that's done using the add, add time to date action. So we're going to add minus seven days a week before, right, to the date. And the date is going to be the current item renewal or expiry date. Excellent. We're going to output that to the reminder date, uh, the variable we just created. Uh, let's see if we got more variables. Yes, we got that one, which I don't like. Let's have a properly named variable so everything is cleaned. All right, so we have that date. Then we're going to do a, a wait, and that's called a pause in SharePoint Designer speak. So we're going to pause until date. So we're going to pause until the workflow variable there, the reminder date, of course. And then we're going to go in, in and send the email. And the email, you've probably seen me do, do other demos on sending the email, but I'm just going to go through this real quick again. So, of course, we want the um, user responsible counsel to get the email. So I'm going to pick that up here. The responsible counsel. I'm going to use the email address for that person there. So that's going to send the email and then we're going to set the subject line to contracts to re review and then we're going to just add the name of the document there all right and then we can just um, put a link click here to open and there are several ways to create links to the current document but for now i'm just going to do the simplest way here and find the workflow context link to current item, current item URL. That's the one I want. So, all right, so that's a very simple email, but review my other demos for more details on that. The important point that I wanted to make in this is how you wait for a specific date. So you use the add action and you use the pause action. And of course, this workflow now needs to start automatically when an item is created. So a little bit of warning on this one, that there are limitations on the number of concurrent running workflows. So if you have thousands of contracts, you might want to put them in different document libraries, because otherwise this might get tricky. And also, if you move this document library to another site collection, you will get problems with this. So make sure you think this through and maybe test it also how that works before you rely too much on this, because of course contracts is a mission critical thing for most companies so i wanted to get that little caveat in there of course we always need to go to end on our 2013 workflows but that concludes my demo on how to do a workflow that sends an automated email based on a date so basically sending a reminder based on a date thank you for watching this demonstration